Hey, in this video, we're going to learn how to delete objects using Hibernate. So again, following our roadmap, we've, we're building this CRUD app. We've already covered create, read, and update. Now we'll focus on actually deleting objects using Hibernate. All right, so let's look at a code example. So again, um, imagine we already have a session started. Uh, here I have int student ID equals one. I actually retrieve a student by saying session.get on student.class, comma student ID. Now with Hibernate to actually delete the student or to delete the object, we make use of session.delete. And this will actually delete the student. So session delete and you give the object reference. And then you actually perform a commit on the transaction to make it, you know, actually apply to the database. But that's it. So the key here is retrieve the object and then you do a session dot delete. All right. So now here's another technique or another approach for deleting an object. Um, in the previous slides, you had to retrieve the object first to delete it here. We don't really want to retrieve it. We simply want to delete it kind of on the fly. So you can do that by saying session create query delete from student where ID equals and you enter whatever the ID value is in this case too. Um, so that'll actually delete the object from the database. So you say create query delete from student where ID equals two dot execute update. Now this dot execute update, it's a, uh, it's a generic name. So it basically means that you're updating the database. Um, that update could be an update statement or a delete. It doesn't really care. So update in a very generic sense. Um, so here, that's how you do a um, delete. Now with your where clause, you could set any values. You could say um, delete from student where um, not registered equals yes, or whatever values you have. You can get all as fancy as you want uh, for your where clause as far as performing a delete. So that's, this could apply to a single student or based on your where clause, it could apply to multiple students. All right. So that's the other way of uh, performing a delete. In the following videos, just like before, um, I'll jump into Eclipse and uh, we'll actually write some code and we'll go through and see how we can actually perform deletes um, on the database using Hibernate. So I'll see you in the next video.